all day. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Getting towards the end of July here. Um, and I used to do, if you've watched my old videos, I used to do a watch trending on eBay. I would do that like once a month and I did several of those and they were good, but then eBay really stopped having a trending list. And what I also noticed was that um, they were also like not listing some of the hot items that resellers were selling. eBay has since adjusted their strategy on this and they have created a section called check out what's selling above retail. And so while I do think a couple of the items that are on that list are great and that I want to put them on your radar, uh, I think it's easier for me to just shoot from the hip here. Now I should tell you that people pay money, good money, like $25 to $50 a month to be in Twitter groups where people tell them to sell these products. And I have a little bit of mixed feelings about that because I feel like, number one, if you're an actual hustler and you're the guy out there figuring out what these products are, all you're doing is flooding the market and creating less profitability for other resellers that are out putting in the work because you're letting people into the game that aren't doing any work at all and letting them profit as well. And I guess if you're charging monthly fees in order to, to do that, it's great because you're hustling. But at the end of the day, like you're really only hurting everybody more than you're helping. Um, and I don't believe in abundance to a certain degree. I mean, I think there's abundance and everybody can eat, but you know, like if the Lego market gets flooded, then not as many people are going to make money off of Lego. Like no matter how you look at it, the average person won't make as much money flipping Legos as they did the year before if Legos got hot. You know what I mean? Because like you're telling people to buy the stuff that's hot and you're letting them in on it. Now I think that's different than what I do here, which is just tell you what the trending products are. So right off the top, there is a bicycle shortage right now. I don't know if you're aware of that, but if you can find bicycles, you should be selling them. I just sold a used one on uh, Facebook Marketplace for $150. This was a 13 year old bike that I sold. It was in really good condition, but I sold it for $150. I got another one up there for 200 that'll sell pretty quickly. Uh, even the Walmart bikes are you know, sold out. Like you go to Walmart and there's just not one on the shelf. You can't find one because everybody wants a bike right now. And because the factories were closed down and all of that, uh, not as many bikes were produced. And so right now we're in the middle of summer and we've got ourselves a full on bike shortage. So bicycles is a super hot item. It's not on eBay's trending list. You can sell them on marketplace. Really? You go like find a used bike at a yard sale, sell it on marketplace for a couple hundred bucks, maybe 150 bucks and don't even pay anybody any fees. That's how I would do it. I wouldn't even go through eBay or anything else. And I've been doing that and I've been doing really well with it. No bike is off limit, but especially beach cruisers and mountain bikes. Uh, kids bikes, I don't really feel like are doing that well comparatively right now. And if you go, some of the Walmarts actually still have some of those and that's why. But bicycles, man, they're crazy right now. Swimming pools is another one. Now that one's kind of tailing off, but as you can imagine, swimming pools were hot. Uh, when it was hot and this time of year swimming pools are big and so uh, with those selling out and not being available at stores people are paying pretty crazy prices for swimming pools so again even used ones if you can find used swimming pools on the internet uh, look for them I'm, I'm just talking like the inflatable blow-up kind not so much the plastic round ones those are a little too basic you still will feel, find those in stores but other than that like the Intex ones like my neighbor has out right now um, any of those are selling for asinine prices. Get your hands on those if you can. Uh, and so, like I said, we're not gonna go for what's trending on eBay right now. Neither of those first two items that I gave you are actually trending on this what's selling above retail list, but I know right now that those are the, like by far the two hottest items of the summer, swimming pools and bicycles. Go get them, right? And any type of other sets like volleyball, badminton, things that you're doing outside, uh, grills are good right now. Now there's not a shortage of grills, but if you're flipping a used one, you'll probably sell it right now. Uh, and a lot of people just don't want to go back into the stores, you know, and they don't want to deal with it. So that's part of it as well. But um, those are three items right there that if you can get your hands on, and you would have never really thought of those probably, if you can get your hands on those, they are hot items right now. A couple other items on the selling above retail list here for eBay. Uh, something called Conspiracy Eye Makeup. It says it's selling up to $95 versus a retail price at $52. Never heard of it. Not going to pretend like I know. But if you do know what that is, go get it. The second item is the Lego Friends set. Now, I told everybody I could with ears that when this came back in stock this summer to buy it up. Because what happens is this Lego set goes out of stock here 
towards the end of summer and it doesn't come in back back in stock until now it probably will be 2021 because people will be buying it for Christmas gifts and if if you want to be the one that wins on that you want to be selling it when everybody is out of stock and somebody has to have it as a Christmas gift and so I've actually got several sets of that I picked one up at my local Barnes and Noble uh, that's a little secret spot that you can find this set because they don't do delivery uh, you can do online order and then pick it up there and you can get that set for $59.99 and you'll probably sell it over $100. So that's a great set to do right now. Go find that Lego Friends. And I'm talking Friends like Ross, Chandler, uh, Phoebe, and those guys, not the Lego Friends that you're... There's another Lego Friends line that's like Girls Big Shops and stuff. That's trash. Uh, well, it's not trash, but it's not selling above retail right now. Uh, again, a, some type of dress that I have nothing about... Here's one for you that's for some reason selling above retail right now, but and I guess because it's summer, but you want to be look be on the lookout for this bolo alert right now. I'm going to tell you something that happens every single year that you can go get to flip. So right now these Starbucks tumblers are selling for 30.50 on a retail price of 16.95, but the Halloween and fall Starbucks tumblers, the ones that they release around Halloween, uh, early October, late September, be on the lookout for those. As soon as those hit stores, clear them out of the store. Buy them all. I promise you, the mugs, all of it, because they go for over $100 once they clear out. People are crazy about these Starbucks mugs. Uh, not so much the mugs, it's the tumblers, the specific like fall 2020, Halloween 2020 tumbler. It'll be hot. Go look up the old ones. Uh, couple different Nike shoes, and I won't get into that because Nikes are always going to sell over retail. Uh, and another Lego set, another third uh, Lego set there, Star Wars. And again, you can kind of pick and choose on those when stuff happens, but that's, you know, that's a little harder. Uh, but otherwise, um, those are the hot items right now selling, and those are the things that are trending right now. There's another pair of uh, track shoes, but you should always be thinking that way, right? Like, you know, it shouldn't be too obvious or it shouldn't be too not obvious to you that uh, summer stuff sells in the summer, right? So right now, you can find great deals on things like winter jackets and things like winter, you know, think of things that are going to be not sold in abundance. Like, I don't even know, maybe snowblowers, right? Like, just start thinking of things like that because right now people are trying to get rid of them and they don't realize that there's going to be a scarcity factor or a shortage factor down the road. Uh, but yeah, uh, I sold swimming pools like two summers ago for retail price, almost a little bit above retail. If I'd have known that there was going to be a great swimming pool shortage of 2020, I would have probably hold on, held on to a couple of those. Uh, but that's why you should anticipate what's going to happen in the winter, right? We're not through the pandemic. Um, it's not that things are going to keep shutting down, but the manufacturing plants and stuff were either operating at limiting, limited capacity or they didn't manufacture enough. And so when there's a lack of supply or an increased amount of demand, we know that the price goes up, right? And so, um, you know, just try to think of things that people are going to want that they're not going to be able to get their hands on in the winter time if you want to win this winter. I'm already thinking like, uh, you know, that like snowboards and skis and stuff like that and uh, snow, snow shovels, stuff like that. They're going to be hot because uh, people, you know, just don't have them and all these other companies are focused on other stuff. So try to think of, you know, make it your goal to think of something that you can flip there. But I gave you some things to be on the lookout for now with swimming pools, uh, you know, a couple, you know, Lego set that you can get at Barnes and Noble, um, you know, the Halloween tumblers that you can get coming up here at Starbucks. And of course, bicycles is a big one that you don't even have to pay fees on. You can literally go to a yard sale, find a bicycle, flip it, and sell it on Marketplace for $150. i have already done this several times, and I'm not paying any tax or fees on these items. So I just wanted to give you some, some different things to do. I didn't want to keep it what's trending on eBay because I want to tell you what's selling. You know, I want to give you some really good things to look for and to sell. And so I think I've done that in this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and like the video and comment what you were able to sell and profit off of. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the page because I'm always talking flip content, usually like uh, selling stuff online, not just eBay, Amazon, Sideline Swap, Facebook Marketplace, all different ways to make money while you're just sitting around chilling. Uh, I talk baseball cards a lot and I talk a little bit of stocks too. I don't like to do too many stock recommendations because I don't like people to lose their money and uh, you know the stock market is 
not a proven thing. You know, it's, it's, it's very volatile, especially right now. So I don't want to steer anybody in the wrong direction, but I do like to help. Look for Ship Flip LLC on every platform, but in the meantime, keep on flipping.